we're going to hit another URL, which is not, well, actually it is through, um, it is through GitHub, but it's not the GitHub API. So this is going to be pretty awesome. So there's this guy on GitHub that has a repo that is every language's hello world. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Um, and it's alphabetized, so that's why there's an R there. Alright, so let's say that we type this into Ruby. What will happen? Hello world! Oh my god, I don't even know how to write Ruby, and I just executed a Ruby file. Check me out. So. What if you don't type it in? Can we see the raw output without typing it into Ruby? Yeah. So if we just. Yeah. So there's the, the actual Ruby file, what it's doing. Um, yeah, so don't go too crazy with this though, because you don't want to just run random stuff that's on the internet, because that's a usually bad idea. But in this case, it's okay. Um, you can also pipe this into like grep or basically anything you want to pipe it into, or you could also use like a little arrow and put it into a file. I always forget the name of the arrow. Um, I was gonna let it go. Yeah. Do what? So I was just gonna let it go. Alright. That could help me out. Alright, so why? does GitHub's API let us do this? Because it is a REST API. And if we want to go to the developer page, so it's just uh, developer.github.com, it'll show us this awesome API stuff. So we just created a gist. So if we go to the gist guide here, here's a bunch of endpoints that we could use um, to do cool stuff with. Um, so we created a gist. So we used a post request, and that is the endpoint that we hit. And this is the JSON that we should be sending, and that's very similar to the JSON that we sent. Awesome. So this API page will basically show you anything you wanted to do in GitHub. And anything you can do on the website, you can pretty much do with the API. So go pretty crazy with it. Um, yeah, so REST APIs are extremely popular right now. And like Facebook has one, Twitter has one. Well, basically everyone has one, <laughs> who needs one. Um, they're very popular because there's minimal overhead to a client. So I don't need to know, you know, very many things about hitting this API besides the endpoint and what kind of data it wants. I don't need to change the data. I can just send it as JSON. And it's not, you know, ridiculous. Um, and the alternative to this is SOAP, and there's other alternatives as well, but SOAP is a very common one. And I don't really know that much about SOAP, but I found this awesome graphic also on Stack Overflow. <laughs> so this basically explains that SOAP, uh, it'll basically make your data like humongous because you have to comply with all these standards, whereas REST is just sending the data clean. Hooray. So let me look at that image for a little while. All right, any questions? I really don't know anything about SOAP, but I use REST a lot, so it's pretty awesome. All right, so let's go back to here.